So, how do you import Photoshop into Cinema 4D? Now, I made this, uh, I got this stencil and I turned it into a shaded template by selecting the bits in between. Um, just make sure you don't leave any gaps now. Right click the layer and press select pixels. Click on paths and press make working path. Yeah, now that's made. And press file export then paths to illustrator make sure it's work path okay and uh, we'll save this as a oh no, which I've already well I'll call it part two save that now let's shoot off to cinema 4d then we come to cinema 4d file open find that file uh, it's just okay. We got this here. Looks pretty good, but to add 3D, um, we need to look at these paths first. Um, when you extrude, you want to keep it to one path, not many. You would want to extrude them all separately, but I can. There's a lot of nonsense parts in there, if you can see, like all of these little dots. So I can get rid of them. And uh, these two paths seem to be what we need. So I'll drag in extrude nerves. I'll need about two. No, not hyper nerves. Yeah, two extrude nerves and put each path in there separately. There, now we have some dimension. So now let's just adjust the let's adjust the depth a little bit. Don't need it to be twenty. It can be thinner. Uh, we can do this same, well, we've done it already. Go to caps and let's make it fillet cap. So we got that softness there, like a like game um, icon thing. Um, just want to move that out a bit. Right. I want to turn this into a coin after I give this fillet caps because I always wanted to see this on a coin so let's give that a shot let's say drop in a disc uh, make the orientation of that disc uh, Z that's it uh, bring it up and make it a bit bigger so so as to fit this uh, design onto the coin okay that's big enough right and just about there a bit bigger um, all right now we should move it back a bit just so that the the shape comes out it's too far yeah that's there that's it and if I render that that's what we have no material let's stick some material on there so to add some material, double click down here, new material. Um, I've got a texture that I want to add. Come here and I've got a copper that I want to add. So you can slap that on there. First edit it. Uh, take off specular, I don't like specular. Add reflection. Bring the reflection down as usual. So you just have a shine over the original material. Throw that on there on each and every one and obviously you can go ahead and adjust all of that I want to make this more like a coin next we want the line tool I want uh, well first take the disk and let's make it editable right click the layer make it editable, editable then let's take the knife right click and take knife then let's make that a loop knife you know to make the corner I mean the edge a bit thick like like it is on a normal coin so let's click uh, live selection of faces take those faces very quickly uh, you can always come back and sort that out just control and then select that so that it deselects now I can go right click extrude um, 
pull it out. That's it. So now it's beginning to look like a coin. That's good. Let's get a preview of that. Uh, this monkey, if you don't know, it's Hanuman. A great superhero and a role model who does uh, good for others. Um, also known for good health, good wisdom and strength. And here's our final product.